In what ways does your media product use developer challenge forms and conventions of real media products? My music video uses forms and conventions of real media products in many ways. According to Andrew Goodwin's theory, a music video has to establish a relationship between the music and the visuals, and to adapt this to my product, I have created this relationship by editing to the rhythm of the song. I also chose the transitions accordingly, for example, at the beginning the beat was quite smooth, therefore I used the dissolved transition. As the beat became sharper, I, I chose to use straight cuts instead. Furthermore, his theory also states that there has to be some sort of a relationship between the lyrics and the visuals. In this case, I wanted to use the visuals in order to illustrate the meaning of the lyrics, because the words of the song were very powerful already, as they speak about the artist's goals and they express the desire he has to become a musician. For example, the lyrics quote, The stage, the fans, the speakers blasting, I want it, I need it. However, I slightly alter the meaning by involving another dream, a dream to become a basketball player, and this is parallel to the dream he is describing in a song. Therefore, there are scenes that show him being bullied by older guys not only refer to the struggles he faced in the past that were linked to basketball, but also to his dream of becoming who he is today, a music artist. I did, I did not want the narrative to be a direct interpretation of the lyrics. I chose to encode the text verb in order to hold the audience's attention as they have to decode their messages and relate the visuals to the lyrics. I also created a non-linear narrative by including flashback sequences to make the product more exciting and as the lyrics refer to the past, for example, I've fallen, I've risen. Therefore, this type of narrative is helpful in order to develop a relationship between the visuals and the song. Speaking more about the narrative, I have used the ideas of Eric Davis who says that the narrative of a music video has to be suggestive rather than detailed, therefore I have left bits out for the audience's individual interpretation. For example, they will have to ask themselves questions like how did the boy overcome the struggles he faced in the past, and how did he end up becoming the man that we see performing for us today. To add further meaning to the narrative, I have also included an intertextual reference to the film Coach Carter. The quote that I used at the beginning of a video was from this film, and this is useful in many ways. The audience will be making links between the narrative of my music video and the narrative of a film. Also, it is useful in terms of helping the video to reach its target audiences as Coach Carter is one of the most popular basketball films and people who have interest or even passion for the sport would most likely have seen this film. The narrative also includes scenes where the audiences are positioned as warriors. For example, when the boys are looking at the young version of artists playing basketball, I use an over-the-shoulder shot to capture this and the position of the audience makes them feel like they are witnessing the... they're witnessing the attack from up close. And also, when the teenagers were hitting the boy, I included close-up shots of a situation once again making the audiences feel like witnesses of a fight. Warriorism is widely used in the music videos, however, such scenes are more frequent and usually more explicit and used on women combined with a male gaze. I did this because I wanted the audience to create a relationship with the artist. He, allow he is allowing them to witness what has happened to him, exposing the fact that he is very human-like and has suffered in the past. Lastly and most importantly, the music video has to promote the artist and construct a star image to sell him to the target audiences. Therefore, my music video contains a lot of close-up shots of the artist, allowing audience more access to the performer than a usual performance would. Also, I have developed the artist's very own iconography within the mission scene. The fact that the performance is based in a basketball court, which resembles the stage, suggests how important the sport is to him. This helps him to appeal to the target audience who are college students or simply young teenagers who are interested in basketball or even any other sport. The narrative can also relate to people who have different goals in life because overall, the artist portrays an inspirational character and the fact that we see him standing in a basketball court performing suggested he has never let go of his dream and never let the fear of failure get to him. So this is how I use the forms and conventions of real media products, hence now I'm going to describe how I challenge them. So to begin with, Andrew Goodwin states that the different genres have their own video styles as well as iconography, therefore in the pre-production of my music video I researched the conventions of hip-hop music videos, and according to what I have found was that many music videos of the genre have a very materialistic theme, and the mission scene is created to portray a very superficial lifestyle that shows the audience how rich and famous the artist is. 
We often see the artists dressed in expensive brand clothes, driving luxurious cars and wearing a lot of jewellery. This makes them seem successful and that is how they attract the audiences. Also, many hip-hop artists are represented as being superior to women by portraying women as sex objects. Good examples of the genre are a video, of can- a video candy shop by 50 Cent and Science by Snoop Dogg featuring Justin Timberlake. I wanted to challenge the stereotypical idea of hip-hop music videos in my product. The mise en scene does quite the opposite as it does not portray luxury. It simply reflects the meaningful things for the artist. I create a costume that represents a quite simple style, jeans, t-shirt and a leather jacket. The only expensive thing that I emphasize with the Jordan train is to show that the artist is successful in terms of basketball. Furthermore, a lot of rappers promote drugs as a marijuana while I created a star image of a healthy idol who is pursuing a sport. As mentioned before, the performance takes place in a basketball court and in some shots I made the basketball ring appear like the artist's halo and this is just how basketball makes him a better person. I wanted to create an inspirational character, yet someone who is down to earth, who the audience can relate to and look up to. My video opposes the materialistic characteristics, is even visible in the lyrics. What matters now is even bigger than diamonds and cash. So the mise-en-scene is very simple and allows the main focus to fall on the artist, his ambitions, dreams and ideas that he is holding on to, just like he is holding on to the basketball in his hands.